You're covered with Able Pest Control. Welcome to Able's Client Preparation Checklist for the control of carpenter ants in your home. The following presentation will review the necessary steps to ensure your upcoming carpenter ant treatment will be a success. Before we begin, please take a moment to download the residential preparation sheet for carpenter ants at ablepestcontrol.com slash pests or by clicking on the link that appears after this video. Let's begin by taking notes of the areas of the ant activity. Worker ants and swarmers, wing ants. These ants may be found in almost any area of the home, but prefer wood that has been softened by water damage and rot organisms. Consequently, in homes, they often establish themselves initially in windowsills, door casings, thresholds, and other areas frequently subjected to moisture. Rough wood shaving, frass. Carpenter ants do not eat wood, but will tunnel into wood structures to establish new colonies or expand existing ones. Sawdust and other debris are cleared from the tunnels and dumped in piles outside the colony. Note all areas that you have noticed the frass. Sounds of rustling. Take note of the location of rustling sounds you might hear, especially at night, that is made by the carpenter ants activity within the home's wood structures. Please take action only in the areas of activity. Not all areas may be affected. In the kitchen and bathrooms, areas where carpenter ants are seen and in particular the kitchen, empty bottom cupboards and bottom of closets, living room, bedrooms, garage, etc. Move all furniture 12 inches or 30 centimeters away from the walls. Please be sure to exercise safety first and do not attempt to move very large furniture. Exterior of the home. Move all planters, patio furniture, etc. 12 inches or 30 centimeters away from the outside walls. How to help us further. Try to keep a live sample of the pest in a sealed Ziploc bag or container for the technician to identify. Tell us of any locations in your home that have experienced water leaks or water damage or possible rotting wood. What you can expect from the treatment. A complete interior and exterior inspection will take place to locate any nests. Your technician will use a variety of methods to control the carpenter ants depending on each unique situation. Sometimes it is necessary for the technician to drill small pilot holes into walls to access a carpenter ant nest. Liquid sprays, dust, and or bait stations may be used. Bait stations should never be moved or tampered with. You will be contacted for your next scheduled inspection and treatment. All treatments will be made with your safety in mind to ensure your health. After the treatment, the bait and spray treatment will remain effective only if the following steps are taken after your home is serviced. Do not use other pest control chemicals, powders or sprays, or cleaning products anywhere near bait placements or spray treatments as this will decrease effectiveness. Remove all competing food sources. This means keeping all foods in tightly sealed containers, cleaning up spills as they occur, removing trash on a regular basis, etc. Reminder, it is necessary for you and your pets to leave your home for four Four hours once the treatment begins. Fish aquariums may be left on site, however they should be covered and air filters must be disconnected. Persons with underlying health conditions should consult their family physician where they have concerns regarding re-entry time. Upon re-entry, please open windows for 20 minutes to properly ventilate the treated rooms. Thank you for watching our presentation today. If you have any further questions regarding your upcoming carpenter ant treatment or any other pest related issues, please call us at one 1- 888-949-4949 or visit us at www.ablepestcontrol.com At Able, we've got you covered. You're covered with Able Pest